Well, Brian, many farmers' dreams have just come true because now you can buy seed that has the refuge right in the bag, so you don't have to plant two separate things. Yes, and that's awesome because the regulatory problems that certain farmers were running into where they didn't quite plant enough refuge corn and people are getting after them, it's so simple when it's right in the bag. But the reason why we're talking about this today is we want you to think about what does that refuge really mean? Well, what it does mean is we have seeds there that are unprotected from maybe it's the below ground pests or the above ground pests, whatever it is, but do you want to leave 5%, 10%, 20% of your field completely unprotected? Well, here's the other thing too, Brian, is the different trait packages have different requirements for how much of that refuge has to be in the bag. So just yep. like you were saying, you may have a 5% refuge in the bag. Well, okay, there's one out of 20 plants out there that's not protected. Maybe a guy takes his chances. But if you say it's 20% refuge in a bag, all of a sudden now, wow, that's one out of five plants out there that I'm not going to have protected. I don't know if I like that so much. And here's yeah. where some guys said, you know, maybe the old refuge was kind of a pain in the butt, but at least I could treat that <laughs> one fifth of my field separate. Now, unfortunately, there weren't a lot of guys doing that. A lot of guys just said, well, I'm going to take my chances and those refuge acres often suffered. Okay, but let's talk through the economics just a little bit, even on our own farm here. Okay, if I'm going to plant a seed that does not have rootworm protection, I may be giving up 40 bushels per acre. If one out of every 20 plants has that loss, basically I can just take my 40 number divided by 20. So across the whole field, that's a two bushel loss. And you say, oh, two bushels per acre, no big deal. Well, I think that is a big deal. Let's just say, for example, corn was $6. I mean, last year I sold my corn for a lot more than $6, but let's just call it six bucks. Okay, well, there's $12 an acre. And what does it cost to put insecticide out on your farm? You could buy, let's say, Capture LFR, and you could get it for less than $12 an acre. So I could treat the whole field just by what I'm going to gain on that 5% of refuge, Darren. Well, that could be a big deal, Brian. And a lot of guys say, you know what? Even on my traded corn, I'm worried about rootworms that may be resistant, or I'm yep. worried about uh, above ground corn borers that could become resistant. I, I don't want to have to worry about treating for them. I really want to make sure the viability of my trait remains for the long term. So there have been a lot of studies done over the last few years, and a bunch of them right on our own farm brand, as far as is it worth putting insecticide on? Maybe just a half rate, or is the full rate going to be worth money on a traded hybrid? Yep. So in our case, if it's going to be smart stacks, for example, you know what? We're going to put insecticide at probably a half rate on the whole thing, and I think we're going to do just fine. But but if all I had was one rootworm trait and I had uh, a refuge in a bag system, I don't know. I don't think I'd be real comfortable with even a half rate. But here's the whole thing. Every area is you'd, a little you'd different. You'd want a full rate. Yeah, so don't get us wrong here. We love refuge in a bag. It's awesome. That's the way we want to go because it makes it simple and easy for every farmer out there. And we know every farmer's in compliance then with what the rules are. But it's just a little concerning because in some areas of the country, the rootworm pressure is super bad. The corn borer pressure might be super bad. We want you to at least be thinking about still treating that field. And certainly when you do treat, you're going to help prevent any resistance that might build up. You know, Brian, there are a lot of people that kind of say, I don't know, we should have any refuge for these bugs. I don't want any of them to live. <laughs> and certainly when it comes to weeds, we don't want to see weeds out in your field. Can you identify this week's Weed of the Week? 